What's going on guys? So earlier today, I picked up a new red foot tortoise and you guys know I've taken a lot of rescues and this little guy is one of those rescues. You can see that eye is good, but look at that eye right there. It's pretty messed up. And when I first got him, both of his eyes were shut. I just got him today. I've soaked him already three times and I keep him in the incubator so he could stay warm. The person that had it before me, they didn't have a water bowl, they didn't give him soaks. So I figured that he was dehydrated and that's why he wasn't opening his eyes. But, hey, I'm trying to record a video, Sonny, come on. Um, but when I soaked him, this eye opened up and now that eye looks perfect. But this eye, as you can see, it looks a little bit messed up. It's a little bit um, like, it looks like it has a little bit of pus or skin or anything. And right now I'm just gonna put a little bit of eye drops on there. It might just be some shed skin that got into his eye, making him a little bit uncomfortable. But I wanna put in some eye drops to uh, clean it off. And then tomorrow, if he still has it, I'm gonna look at it a little bit closer, maybe try to take that uh, little thing that he has, a little white thing right there, try and take it off. But right now it's already late, so I don't really want to mess with them too much. I do want to put in these drops to make sure that um, his eyes are clean. And just in case it's a vitamin A deficiency, the eye drops will help him out too. And supply some of these drops and hopefully this should help him out. And now these drops, they're meant to um, help with like vitamin A or soothe his eye a little bit, helps alleviate him. But um, we'll see if these drops help him out. All right, let's put in the drop now. I'm gonna put two in this eye right here. There's one and two. And I'm gonna put one in this eye as well. Oh, oh don't close it. There we go. Oh, I don't even know the camera picked that up, but uh, he already got it in that eye. That's why he closed it. Let's give him one more. There we go. I think that today is going to be the only day that I put two of them. And then every other day, I'm going to be putting uh, just one. But today, I want to try to clean out as much as possible. So there we go. That's his eye right now. I'm going to go updating you guys, obviously, as I do the treatments. And I'm going to be soaking him more consistently than, than I do with my normal red foots. And um, I'll be updating you guys. I think that he'll be perfectly fine in less than a week, to be honest. Once he's completely done, he's healed with his eye. Everything else is completely fine. He'll, he'll be ready to adopt. And you can see his shell is super healthy. He has a very smooth shell. He's a, he has a strong shell. It's very sturdy. But other than that, he's completely healthy. So I'm thinking that something might have just gotten into his eye. And he'll be fine. Alright, so... I've been soaking this guy a couple times a day. You can see his eyes starting to get better. That's my leopard tortoise that I'm soaking there as well. This is my last leopard tortoise. I'm not gonna touch it now since I just touched that guy, but you can see he's doing good. And this guy I'm probably gonna be selling soon. I'm not sure. But anyways, this video is about him. His eyes are looking better, not completely healed up yet. It's only been yesterday, I think was the second day. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, um, yeah, yeah, it's been two days. Since I got him, his eyes are looking better. I've been giving him eye drops every day. He's been staying in the incubator. And this eye is perfectly fine. The first day he didn't want to open this eye either, but now he's opening both up, or at least he's trying to open this one up as you can see. But I'm guessing in a week he's gonna be fine again. All right, so it's been about a week now since I got this guy. And you can see he's already looking perfect. Both of his eyes are good. He's looking good. He had solid poop. That means it's a healthy poop. He's been eating a ton. My leopard's walking around over here. This guy's a new hatchling that hatched out about a week ago. And look how tiny he is. This one has such a pretty shell. That's such a pretty shell. And then my marble, the red foot, which also has a beautiful shell. But yeah, I've been letting these guys soak here for a little bit. They've been getting a little bit of sunlight. And now it's time to take them back inside. So it's been about a month now since I got this little red foot tortoise and check them out now. I got my other two red foots and I brought them outside and they're, they're running away now, running over the food that I just fed them. That little one loves to eat, but uh, the other ones, I guess they just rather explore. Let's see if he'll start eating. He, he's always the first one. As soon as I throw food into the enclosure, he's the first one to go, especially if it's the flowers. I guess he likes the, the bright colors, 
but uh this is my boy right here the one that had the eye messed up check him out he's a completely new tortoise and i figured out what happened to his eye so talk to the owner you know i like to keep him updated i already told them he's already doing perfect and he's already ready to go to his new home but i told them about the eye because at first they just thought that the eyes were shut and they didn't know why like i said in, earlier they weren't giving them water or anything they didn't have a water bowl they weren't soaking and, and look at that guy that's actually a girl but she, she just ran away um so yeah they weren't giving them water or anything so i just thought that he was dehydrated so i thought okay this is gonna be pretty simple um but it turns out that it was the eye so i told him about that i asked him how it could have hurt him maybe it was a substrate maybe they had some decoration in the enclosure but it turns out that her brother um had gotten a little green iguana and put it in the same enclosure and you know the green iguanas are little lizards and they have sharp claws so i'm guessing that it probably uh, scratched its eye by accident or something you know running around in the enclosure you could imagine a little wild uh lizard inside a i don't remember the size of the enclosure it wasn't too big uh, when i picked it up i saw it i didn't take it because i have a ton of enclosures already but um it was about a 20 gallon i think so it wasn't that huge so the lizard was running around probably going crazy in there and that's what scratched his eye this guy he loves to eat he's the first one to eat he eats like crazy too but you know it's kind of it's already the sun's already starting to set so these guys aren't too too hungry they already ate earlier today i just took them out now and i'm feeding them some flowers just for the video but uh the other one's over there and this one's already sold i'm just waiting for the weather to clear up before i could ship him out because he's going to minnesota i think if i remember correctly or maybe it's michigan but uh yeah either way it's a cold state so hopefully we get a window that i could ship him out and uh he's gonna be able to go to his new home now as well so if you guys are interested in getting him you could get him on shadowsreptiles.com shop that female over there is also for sale this one let me see if i could sex him for you guys um he's still really small but okay let me see you buddy all right so this one i think might be the male because you can see the tail uh reaches a lot farther down the hip there but this one has a much smaller tail but uh i think it might still be a little bit too young to tell but i'm thinking female just because of how stubby the tail is uh compared to this other guy red foots and um uh i forgot the other ones the elongated tortoises are some of the tortoises that you could kind of tell when they're a lot smaller like this because when you push the tail in it will you can see it the difference between the hip as you can see this guy's tail is much much shorter than this one's as you can see and speaking of females we have this girl here too which is also for sale on the website and uh check her out she's really pretty she has a short little tail meaning she's a female but yeah i guess she w wandered off to eat some greens over here but let's go put her back over here all right and i just went and got this guy a hibiscus leaf because i don't think he likes flowers he might not be used to eating flowers but uh i know for a fact that he likes to eat the hibiscus leaves so let's see if we're able to get him on video eating there we go look at that look how quick she started eating now i already forgot i just sexed her right now and i forgot already if it's a he or she um but the other one over there she's still exploring i guess she doesn't like being on video but this guy's doing great now eating his eyes are perfect and honestly he's a really pretty tortoise and he's he was not in bad conditions at all the owners took good care of him other than the water situation that they didn't soak him or drink or uh, give him a bowl of water and putting the iguanas together um putting the iguana inside the same enclosure as him that was a bad idea but they're not bad owners at all um they were taking good care of him as you can see his shell is very pretty he has a very smooth shell it's tough like i said he not soft at all and it's one of the healthiest tortoises that i've received um since i started taking in rescues and um i talk to them and everything you know it's i always like to make sure that it's cool with them that i sell the animal after because i don't like uh taking in animals and telling people that i'm gonna keep them forever which i'm not i tell them up front that i'm not gonna keep them and that's because i just get way too many animals especially now that i have a bigger following a lot of people tell message me uh, every day i get messages about leopard geckos uh turtles tortoises lizards things like that and i can't take all of them in so usually 
um if they don't if they need me to take it in let's say they're moving or something and he's completely healthy i'll tell them i could take him but as a last resort you know i could take him in and i'm not going to be keeping him depending on the animal but if i'm if i decide not to keep it i let them know and look at this come here get out of there but um yeah i always let them know beforehand and uh i lost my train of thought but uh yeah i always let them know and i can't keep every animal that i get i already have over 70 animals of my own so i probably won't be getting any more for now um i have to do a lot of moving around um i want to set up a bunch of new enclosures outside so i'm not gonna be taking in that many rescues anymore unless they have like a medical tr thing that i could do and maybe just shoot a video on and then uh rehome them right after which is not a big deal but um like i said might not be keeping them if you guys do have an animal that you can't take care of anymore or uh it's sick or injured you could always let me know you could text me through instagram shadows reptiles and i might be able to take them in if not i could always find somebody else that might or um i know a lot of people that you know that they do this for a living so if you guys have an animal that you can't take care of you could always talk to me you can send me a dm um which i some i try to answer all of them but i do get a lot um so i might not be able to get to your dm but uh, you could try you could leave a comment you could try and spam me and i'll see if i can get to you this little guy is doing great and like i said if you want to get him you can check out shadowsreptiles.com and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and look, look at her going off again into the distance um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day